But first, a win in the fight against the left's push to erode the significance of Australia Day, not to mention common sense at one South Australian council. Last night, the councillors for the city of Unley, a small council in Adelaide's southern inner city area, voted eight to four to restore its ceremonies and Australia Day awards back to January 26, after last year voting to change the date. The reversal comes after a community survey revealed that some 60% of residents wanted the ceremonies back on January 26. Well, joining me now to discuss this change, Unley councillor Jack Gaffey. Jack, thank you for your time. I'm, I'm thrilled to hear that this move's been made in your council, that you've listened to the will of residents, but it almost seems absurd that you first had the vote, then you had the consultation, and now it's all been reversed. I know you were opposed to it from the outset, but what's happened here? Look, this is a win for common sense. Only council has done what no other council in Australia has done. We actually spent time and asked residents what they thought about Australia Day. It's called good governance, Peter. Perhaps it might be popular. Maybe you should be asking other councils why they can't be bothered consulting their residents. Oh, you're not wrong. I think what you've done is fantastic. And I think people who pay their rates are probably very delighted their views are actually canvassed, that you're not you know, taking their views for granted. But why, why was there the push to change the date without talking to the residents first? Look, there was a decision on council that we should act and we should lead. Um, and so a decision was made by uh, different councillors that we should do this without consultation. The only problem was that after we'd made that decision, there was a huge number of emails I had a number of them from residents who felt like they hadn't been heard about the Australia Day celebrations. Ordinary people who go to work, look after their families, and they just expect councils to do right by them. This was the first they actually knew about it. And let me tell you, they're pretty upset. So that says to, to everyone watching this program tonight that there is genuinely power in, in people. It does. And for councils who are as forward thinking as only, that if they actually get out and have their say, then uh, we will listen to them. And uh, this isn't gonna be the last time that only goes out and actually asks the community what they think on different issues. We're a, a forward progressing type of council and we actually are actively out there trying to do a, another one of these uh, surveys later on about uh, tree canopy issues. Well, I, I love to hear that because uh, one of the things people say, and they say this not just about local councils, they say it about government right across the board, is we vote for you, uh, we, we you know, look at your platform, we expect those things you promise to be delivered, but then you, you don't talk to us for another three or four years until you want our vote again. Um, I heard you on the tree canopy, but, I mean, are you going to be a very active, engaging council? Are you, you know, are you a council that deals with the roads, ra ra roads, and rubbish, the stuff that people care about at a local council level? Is that what your name's about? Look, we deal with that and we also deal with controversial, controversial issues like actually putting a fence around uh, a sporting over, which uh, unfortunately has divided the community again. Where again, we've been out and we've consulted on that and listened to them about that. Unfortunately, that decision hasn't gone the way uh, in which uh, some of the people want that to. Jake, what would you say to other councillors who are perhaps a bit scared to ask the community what they think? I think it's important that you realise that you're elected to help people and that we actually are supposed to listen to people about what they think on a number of issues. We obviously can't govern by asking every single issue uh, as we go, but certainly some of the big ones, it really is important to get people to have their, their say and to actually come out and tell us what they think. And uh, I think it's important because... Uh, one of the questions that we had last night was, well, how much does this survey actually count? Because we've only heard from 2% of the people, but perhaps those are the people that really want to be heard. If more people get out and answer some of these surveys, perhaps we'll get uh, more interesting and more intelligent answers.